to introduce yourselves? Uh, okay. I'm Violet. I'm Lola. <laughs> and I'm Zara. And what's up, everybody? I'm sitting here with the two stars of the local London band Thunder Queens. We got two celebrities in the house right here. And we just did, well, they just did more like a fantastic high energy live performance right here in the studio, performing a couple songs off of their new EP and one new song, if I heard right. Yeah. Yeah. So that was not off of, yeah, right. Yeah. All righty. <laughs> so uh, I want to ask you guys a few things about uh, your, your new seven inch. Um, what was the most fun song to record on there? I think we actually didn't do it on this like on the songs we did here but it was um tornado warning okay for me mine was also probably tornado warning okay why was that the most fun the feedback mm. there's a bunch of feedback at the end of it <laughs> mm. and you like the way it sounds yeah. okay so a lot of artists who come out uh usually just skip the wax skip any kind of physical hard copy of music and they just put their music out on spotify why did you ladies decide to put out an EP on wax? Um. <laughs> Was it your parents? Were they pushing for that? Uh, not really. We were actually just recording songs for just whatever we wanted to do, and then suddenly, um, we got we got like a a call or a text saying that do you want to do a record right when we were recording it? So then we did. Okay. Yeah. Wow, you guys are that talented, huh? So, did you two meet at the London Girls Rock Camp? Or did you know each other before? No. We, I, we actually met at... We actually met at um, Punk Rock Flea Market. Okay. Because um, my mom and Violet's dad were both vendors. Yeah, my dad does art. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> so then how did, you, how did the band come about? How did you guys form well, Thunder Queens? After, after we met at punk rock flea market we both went to girls rock camp mm -hmm. and we were put in the same band at the first time and it was l called larva mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> did you come up with the name uh yeah, we, we all we, all we combined all of the letters and it spelled larva so. oh okay and then um that we kept doing it the years after and now and then we thought maybe we could do one outside of rock camp and then we did this band <laughs> Okay, cool. And I really like the, the art on this a lot. So who did, who did the art? Uh, Matt Gordon. Okay. Yeah. And did you have any input on it? Did you tell him what you were thinking or he came up with this concept? We just said, like, we, we were just, like, make sure it has, like, like, he likes drawing, like, or m painting, like, li like lizards, lizards and, and skulls and different little characters. Mm -hmm. And we just wanted it to have some connection to us, like should he could do it himself. Yeah, like our hair. Violet as a lizard. <laughs> and me as a okay. All right. Yeah. Do you two have any influences or any artists that you think about when you're coming up with your own music and writing your own songs? Um, uh, I like David Bowie. Okay. <laughs> um, she came. I don't, she came I up don't. with all that herself. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Well, that's cool. I mean, it's uh, a lot of the process in there when you're coming up with music. It's it comes from inside of you too. You know, some of it is based on what you hear, and then some of it is also what comes up inside. So, have you two been practicing, playing together much, coming up with new music during the quarantine? We actually just we just started. We actually can practice now because we're, we're allowed to see a few people, mm -hmm. and this is we practice like only a few times, and then and then suddenly we're doing another performance, which is nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we just made a quarantine song. Okay. So yeah. What's that? What's that about? Quarantine. <laughs> is it angry? Kind of.
Well, how long have you been playing your instruments? So you play the drums and you also do the vocals. You play the guitar and you also do the vocals. How long have you both been playing your instruments? Well, at, um, I actually only started drums at rock camp. Oh, wow. Because before I always liked doing piano and keyboard because that was like one of the first instruments I learned. Mm -hmm. But then I wanted to try a different thing and I did drums and I liked it. Okay. Um, I actually started doing guitar at rock camp too. And then for Christmas I got a guitar and I started practicing it. And so I think I've been doing it for maybe like two years around that. And did, did either of you play instruments before you did rock camp? Yes. Yes. Would you, would you two play? I, I played piano. Okay. I played piano. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, that's, that's not a far jump from what you do now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's a really big one. Um, well, that's incredible because you, you two have only been playing for two years, but you sound pretty tight. Good job. You sound really strong. Do you ever think, because both of the instruments that you play are pretty loud, and pretty powerful. So when you first started, what made you feel like, Lola, when you first started playing the drums, what made you feel like, okay, this is my instrument? What did you like about it? Uh, well, just like every, I always listen to the radio when I'm in the car and there's not a lot of songs that you don't hear that don't have drums because drums kind of just pulls all the, the whole song together. That's right. And I just feel like that's a good instrument to play. <laughs> nice foundation yeah I just really like playing guitar mm -hmm. and yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know it's for you she knows what she wants huh yeah all right ladies well um what has been the response to your EP I've been at the station at Radio Western I've been hearing it and seeing it a heck of a lot people really love it there wow. and I heard you guys opening for other people back when live music was a thing. <laughs> so I'm sure I'm sure the two of you can say the reception has been really good. For you, how do you feel about this this EP? I kind of feel really proud of it because we're only like we're pretty young and we just recorded like our EP, so like mm. <laughs> You just said it. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, girls. Well, can, any, can we expect anything more from the Thunder Queens now that you guys can practice together and play out loud some more? Um, pr definitely at once this gets a little bit better and we can actually start performing again. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Break out. Break out. Because this is jumping around. Yeah, give me one.
when you first started performing, were you feeling nervous or scared at all? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Do you still feel that way or has it gone off a little bit? Sometimes. Mm. But yeah. Yeah. That almost fell. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much, Violet and Lola. It's been a pleasure. Really awesome watching you two perform, and I can't wait to see you guys do it some more. And you should definitely come down to the state. Have you been to Radio Western before? No? no? All right. Well, when no. things when things get back to normal, we'd love to have you there doing a live set for sure. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so I've, my name is Zara. I've been sitting here with Lola and Violet from the Thunder Queens. Thank you very much, ladies, for talking to Radio Western today. They have a new EP out, which has been all the rage in this city, especially at the radio station. Got to keep that on rotation. So, ladies, do you want to tell the listeners where they can find out more about you and maybe cop some of your music? Um, you could probably find our music at Speed City. Mm-hmm. Speed City Records. Cool, cool. And are you online? Um, I think we have one song, uh, Tornado Warning, on YouTube. Okay. But you have an Instagram page yeah, and a Facebook page. I think we might. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, you guys are doing it the right way. You're doing it the right way. And I'm sure your parents are in charge of that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's keep it that <laughs> way. All right. Thank you very much, ladies. And thank you for listening. You can catch the Thunder Queens at Speed City Records. They got their new EP out called Yeah Right. What's the name of it? Yeah Right Records. Oh, the yeah, yeah, the Thunder that's Queens. The that's the record label. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> so their new self-titled EP is called Thunder, Thunder Queens. Queens. That's right. And you can definitely catch these ladies 
in and around the city slowly as things start opening up again. And also want to say a special thank you to Sean and Hanan here at City Rest for hosting us today and for allowing us to use their amazing space. It's multifunctional and it's definitely a hidden gem here in London. We hope to be back very soon. Thank you.